Hello, welcome everybody. Um, today we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be doing a historic Owl's build with Jumpstart. And I am joined with a special guest, Luca. Hello and guys. <laughs> he um, is a very good player. He um, made seventh in his historic mythic and he helped build another one of my historic elves deck before jumpstart so i thought it would be nice to um do one with jumpstart and we're gonna build two different types of decks combo and beat down if you would like to oh explain. yeah there's a couple different ways that you can take on elves the first one that i've been trying to do is more of a combo style you have cards like beat whisper to draw you a bunch of cards and then eventually take a bunch of mana with elvish arts druid and play a Crater Hoof Behemoth or a Finale of Devastation or something giant like that. You have lots of ways to use all your mana. The other version that Dana's been trying out a little bit more has been just regular beatdown elves. You're on a bunch of big creatures, a bunch of ways to kill your opponents fast. A little less on like the draw aspect of the deck, but more on just killing them fast. We're going to try both of those decks today and maybe play a couple of games with them. Yep. So the first thing that I know we should have is a land of war else. Definitely. I'm splitting them, Daddy. I'm splitting them. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hey, what else? Uh, I like maybe a Allosaurus Shepherd. Well, which version are we building first? Are we gonna build the combo version no. or Yeah, the, this is the, the combo deck? version. Okay, uh, we could run Allosaurus Shepherd. I'm not a huge fan of that card. Maybe it's good as a one of. Maybe in the sideboard it could be good, but yeah. not exactly sure. I can just throw one in the sideboard. sideboard. Yeah, we could add more if we want. Um, yeah. So we definitely know we want the Elvish Archer. That's a new card from Jumpstart. Yep. That's what really makes Elves what it is. Just mm -hmm. it's so probably the best card in the deck right now. One of the best. Lanor else is probably the best. Also close. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm also liking um, Elvish Clan Color and Elvish Visionary. Yep. Yeah, those could both be four ofs for sure. Elvish Visionary is a card that's not really... You won't really see its power just by looking at it, but once you play a lot with it, once you realize it draws you a card, which it's always going to replace itself, and if you have a couple of lords, it's going to be really big, really quick. Yeah. I also like Dwynan's Elite. Like, that might... That's also a yeah. must. That's a new addition from Jumpstart, which is just making the deck even more powerful. Yeah. Okay, what else are we going to add? I like we... maybe, like, a couple of Imperious Perfects. Yep. And another thing that I've really been liking, that's not an obvious choice for the deck, is if you're playing a combo version, one of the most important things you can do is curve out. Uh, you want to, as much as you can, you want to be able to play your Arch Druid on turn two, but you only have land worlds to do that. But what I've really been liking is Builded Goose. It's just another way to get your Arch Druid on turn two. But you don't really have a lot of other ways to do that besides land or elves. Yeah. That's the other one drop I've been running. And then we can also add in um, a finale and a crater huff. Yeah, those are going to be the top end. Maybe we want a couple finales. Um, maybe two. I would run two and one crater huff. Probably. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I'd run two finales, one crater of. Just that's probably enough top end. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a. That's an easier one to spell. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good spelling lesson, isn't it, Dana? <laughs> Alright. And then what else could be good in this deck? Oh, another card that I've really been liking in the Elves deck. Feed the Stampede has been amazing for me, especially in, in, well, pretty much in all version of Elves. We want Lead the Stampede, just it'll get so much value. 
Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you top deck it late game, it'll just win you the game. Um, I usually want... Well, we, we want 23 lands and probably 3 castles. That's what I've normally been doing. So that would be like 37 base. cards. Yeah. Do you have the castles in there now? Yeah. Castle. So, three castles and 20 forests. All right, we can just do the lands here. Ah. So just now. I think you... There. Yeah, cut one there first. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else have I been liking? Oh, gotta have two Beast Whispers. That's oh, one yeah. of your ways to just draw you a bunch of cards. The gas. I'm gonna do... There's a lot of these. Yeah. There we go. Right now we're at 54 cards? Nine cards. 15, oh, 59 cards. One card oh, Okay. One. The last card, really, it's like... It could be a bunch of different things as your flex spot. But I've been trying Marwyn. A way to make a bunch of mana. It's kind of like another Arch Druid. In this way that it just makes a lot of mana. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yep. So maybe that looks like a quick sideboard. I would have. Yeah, maybe we can put it in a sideboard. Yep. Okay. So what I've been liking in the sideboard, you definitely want three heroic interventions. So many of the decks in this meta just run up like Three or four Shatter the Skies, and being able to stop the Shatter the Skies from actually board wiping you can yeah. just be huge sometimes. Hmm. Um, then... I also like one Shepherd you already had. Yeah. Um, also, I've really been liking Reclamation Sage, that's another elf. So I, I'd actually run four of those. It goes in in so many matchups. And it's an elf, so it's not like. Yeah, really... and I also like um, some Garrick's Harbinger. Yeah, that could be good. There's a lot of. I've actually been seeing a lot of Jun decks running around right now. Yeah. And Garrick's Harbinger is just really good because a lot of their removal is just black based. Like, um, Eliminate is a the card they've been running a lot. And being able to dodge that and then also getting you a bunch of value late game. Yeah. And really do a lot. Like Another thing, done, and then a thrashing brontodon. Uh, I'm not sure if we need that because we already have four reclamation sages. But I've been kind of liking since we don't have. You probably noticed that we don't have steel leaf champion in the main. Yeah. And actually, I think that's a great sideboard card because it goes in in so many matchups. It's good against control because it's just a giant it's creature. It's good against and like red aggressive decks because it can't yeah. be blocked. It can block all their small creatures. And it can't be the only thing, Yeah, the only thing it's not great against is like mid-range decks. But I, I really like it against control and really aggressive decks. So I would probably have three or four of that. And then also a ramp throw is something I like. Yeah. A ramp throw just to finish it off as our last card. A good amount. We probably want at least some disruption and ramp throw is a perfect way to do that. Yeah. So, let's okay, so, Yeah, this yeah, looks this good. Is the, this is the combo version of the deck. Not too bad for wild cards. Yeah. yeah. This deck's also... If you have all the elves from before when we played that first elf deck, mm -hmm. then you're really not going to need to spend that many more wild cards because there's not Plus, that I many Plus, I normally just cards. get elves because I always like my elves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is okay. This, is this good on the combo version? Yeah. You want to go beatdown version? Yep. I've got the name. Uh, All right. Well, this one, and now I won't need to spend many um, wild cards on this one. So definitely the Arch Druids, the Dwinans Elites. Um, I can do the filter. The, yeah. Land of War Elves. Um, well, this time you like the match, huh? 
Thanks for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me. Wow, Jane, they're are you both monster. pretty. They're both pretty. <laughs> I need two pretty, different pretty cards. Your call. <laughs> I want pretty. Oh, in the aggressive version, I like to main board one, Allosaur, Shepherd. Yeah. As a good mana thing. Because um, we're not going to be playing our, um, we're not going to be playing Crater Hoof, so we want something that we can go over the top with, and that having that activated ability where you can just turn all your creatures into five fives, just kill them in yeah, one Yeah, and time. I also like the clan caller. Yeah. And have visionary. Yep, Elvish visionary, also very strong because it's just a cantrip that also provides a body. Yeah. And a, a change that I'd have in this deck from the combo version, mm -hmm. I like to run four pelt collectors. That's just, a really big creature it, it'll get to be so huge and sometimes yeah. it'll have to trample so it's just a, a really good one drop that's kind of your other one drop instead of gilded goose yeah and i play. and i also like um three imperious perfects yeah imperious perfect and really good and it's just another i card. also like the steel leaf champion yeah steel leaf champion's a lot better in this deck because it's cause... more aggressive yeah, the deck's a lot more aggressive. You want just big creatures. That's why we're running cards like Pelt Collector. That's why we also want Steel Leaf Champion. And also we're just trying to think like one wild one preserver. Yeah, uh, we could run one. And what we've been trying out is a split of wild. We want a couple more two drops. So we've been trying out Wild Born Preserver and uh, the Vanquisher, the two mana three three, pretty yeah. much. I have touch. to go on to the filter to say not collected yeah so um because i've been trying both of those and what we like is just a one one split because we want two and we don't really think one's that much better than the other so we're gonna try one one split one preserver one vanquisher yeah and and then three castles a, oh we had to leave the stampede Oh, no, we don't yet. We definitely want four lead the Stampede. Especially in a deck that's pretty much all creatures. The only non-creature is lead the Stampede. Like, yeah. more copies of lead the Stampede. So, definitely want four of those in your decks. the three castles. Oh, three castles and 20 forests. Yeah. Let's go to land. Not do castles. Let's find the pretty forest. Oh. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Oh. We're one card over. Oh. We gotta make one cut. Um, I'm thinking maybe an Imperious Perfect. Yeah, I could see definitely cutting it down to two. That makes sense to me. Yeah. And then we can do the sideboard as well. Yep. Sideboard's going to be pretty similar to the other one. Uh, except in this version, I think we might want four heroic interventions in the sideboard. It's just so strong. Because this deck cares even more about board wipes. Because if they board wipe you, it's just pretty much game over. There's no way to recover from that. But... Yeah, and then maybe ram through. Yeah, probably a couple of ram throughs. I definitely want three or four reclamations. Dude. Yeah, I like, I like um four. And another thing that I've kind of been liking, uh, a couple great henge in a deck with like so many creatures. It's a way to draw a bunch of cards. It's so good against the control decks. Yeah. Never resolves. You're just never gonna run out of steam. Mhm. Mm and then maybe some Garrick Harbin, uh, like some Gar three Garrick Harbinger. Yeah, that could be good, too. I've been liking that card. Again, it's good against the Jun decks, which are becoming pretty popular now. Yeah. All right, I like this as deck, too. Yep. Let's craft one. Okay. Just used one wild card. Not a big deal. And it's so now we're going to play a couple games with it? Yeah, with both decks. Ah. Which one are we going to try first? I like the beat down. Okay, let's try that. Historic Grant. Let's choose the beat down. 
Because I like beatdown. A lot. Uh Yeah, some combo in modern elves too. Oh yeah, this hand is great. Anytime we get a turn two Steel Leaf champion. Yeah. Super insane. Ah, they said hello. I'm gonna say hello. Okay, so they're playing that life gain deck. Which like we should have a pretty good matchup because we can just go over the top. Just turn two Steel Leaf champions. Always gonna be really strong. Yeah. And then next turn we can just slam both. Our lord and a visionary, probably. Yeah. Unless we draw another lord. Another lord would be so good. Yeah. No. Okay, so the pride mate's actually kind of annoying. Oh, wait, before you do anything, we want to make sure that we're not playing something and then making his pride mate gain another power, remember? Because yeah. he's going to gain a life. So I think we can actually play the clan caller first. But we want to save the visionary till after. Sure. Oh, I just swing with the steel leaf. Hi ya. Hi ya. -cha. And then play the visionary. A card. Set up for a powerful next turn. We're gonna have a lead to stampede. Hope to find some more lords. Oh, oh there's a card. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And that's pretty strong. Let's see what they do. Killer's Hawk. That really doesn't do much. It's another creature, so their pride mate's getting bigger. Oh, wow. Lots of... Yeah, I'll say it's kind of annoying, because it means they can save their creatures at some point. But I think we definitely just have to play the Arch Druid. It's going to give us so much mana next turn with our lead to stand piece. Yeah. Um, and then I just swing the Steel Leaf again. Well, the Steel Leaf gets eaten by the pride mate. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Didn't say it was an 8-8, eight, eight, never mind. So next turn we're just gonna try to cast some lead the stampedes, maybe find a couple yeah. more lords. Yeah, for sure. Just gotta take that. Oh wow. Okay, so we're playing that first. Because then it'll make another mana with the first lord. Yeah. Then play lead the stampede. The prime makes so annoying though. Or actually, why don't we we could just activate our clan caller? That's another thing we could do. Yeah. Um, I kind of like that. Just get our creatures so big. We can still just play our lead next turn. Mm -hmm. But we can pass and just try to kill them in one turn. Because, remember, next turn we can just activate our clan colors two more times. Yeah. Oh, it'd be really bad if they can get up to 30 life here. I think they actually can get up to 30 life. And then there's Saras, and it's going to become a 6-6 six, six flying lifelink. Well, that's not going to be good for us. But, let's see what we can do. Um, maybe we activate our lord first. Or, no, I think we actually play the Stampede. Let's play that. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Play Lord. Play the Lenawiles or play the Archdruid probably? It doesn't really matter what order we're doing it. But probably just play the Archdruid. And then we're gonna probably play up our Archdruid and then play both our creatures. And then feed the stampede. We should be able to kill them next turn with all of these creatures. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, I just realized something really bad. Their all say is gonna be able to give their pride mate protection from green. Oh and we won't be able to block it. So let's see, what can we do here? Can we activate both our clan callers and force them to block? Is that something we can do? Um, it's rough. Well, even if they did block with the pride mate, the pride mate would survive. Can we make eight mana off our Archrude? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah, we can. So I just make eight mana and then activate both our clan callers, get two more lords. Uh, 
Okay, this is not looking good. I don't think there's a way we can live. Yeah. We just have one more turn. I think we have to swing with everyone. Actually, no, there's no point. Yeah, I think we just got here. Maybe they just don't attack and maybe they'll miss it. Well, they said but, good game. Well, maybe they'll forget, right? If they forget, then. Yeah. A free win, but it's probably not gonna happen. They're probably gonna. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, that was a really close game. We were one turn off. I know. Just going off of. But let's try another one. That matchup's kind of difficult because we they have like if they have the pride mate, we can't really attack through it. Mm -hmm. If they don't have a pride mate and they just have a bunch of little creatures, we just go way over the top, so... Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff out, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a game where maybe if we were playing the other version, we could have tried to, like, I don't know, crater hoof or try to find a crater hoof and then we could have killed them that turn. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I like this hand too, because we've got Pell Collector, Clan Caller, Visionary. Yeah, this hand's good. It's kind of awkward because we're not going to be able to trigger our Pell Collector on turn two. Yeah. But... Should just be able to go... It really depends on what we draw, but... Let's see. So we drew two lands. I'd play the visionary. Yeah, to draw. Yeah, we really want to find our three mana lord. That makes a bunch of mana. And then we could just start going, going off. off. It's like, we don't always want to find the arch druid. Okay, what I think we're going to do here is play a pelt collector and then play Dwayne's Elite. Yeah. And just throw both our pelt collectors. And I would just kill him. Just killing our opponent really fast. Next turn we can play a Lord, buff up our whole board. And then play a Visionary. Yeah. If they don't have a Sweeper. Yeah. Let's hope one time no Sweeper, please. Please? Is. Uh, oh, I guess we're just playing. We could just play Lead the Stampede and the Shepherd. Yeah. Kind of like that. Seriously? Uh, uh, it's kind of weird. But I guess an Archer is still fine. Mm -hmm. So they're playing like a Planeswalker. A Jeskai Walker stack. I wouldn't be surprised if they played Sarkon. Yeah. Sarkon. Will he make the token? Magnificent. So you always draw like multiple leads of stampedes. I think we're just gotta we just gotta play the Arch Druid. And I had to just do some cool stuff next turn. But no attacks. No attacks. Fairy's annoying because they bounce our arch druid. What? How would they do that? I don't understand. Maybe they have a kill spell and that's why they're doing it. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I will call yeah. the, dragons. the only explanation can be that they have some way to deal with our. Um, arch druid. Lord, yeah, our arch druid. I like playing the Dwayne's Elite Shepherd and then the Dwayne's Elite. I just like starting with the Dwayne's Elite. Well, but that if 
we play the Dwinans Elite first, they they might be able to counter it. So the Allosaurus Shepherd. Um, yeah, but if we do it that way, then we're not like being that efficient with our mana. Because if we go Dwayne's Elite, then we get to play our Lord, and then tap out for Lead the Stampede and Elvish Visionary, or just yeah. the Stampede and the Shepherd. So you're right that they could have a counter spell. But I think this line's a little better. Because they also only have two mana up, it's pretty unlikely that they that they have a two mana counter spell. So I play another lead the stampede. Mm-hmm. But do they have a Dovin's Veto? Yep. Oh. I guess that resolves. Yeah. That's why we should have played Dinosaur Shepherd. Creatures or just green No spells? green spells. Oh, okay. We should have done that first. Thanks. Now we're dead. They just plus up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yep, okay. Look to the Come skies. Through. Just having that board wipe was pretty huge. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying yes even with the fairy. <laughs> I still had fun. I still okay, don't know why they asked you that. It's Are we like gonna try the combo version now? Yeah. Combo. Let's see how this one plays out. Much if Dana, if my combo version does better than Dana's all out creature version, then I win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, keep. Yeah, kind of like playing lead the stampede on turn two, just maybe not. I don't know. Oh, oh. that on turn two. Wow, okay, that's strong on deck. We're seeing this Life King deck again. Yeah. Oh, come on! Green curve every time. Okay, so we're just gonna play the Archdruid. Pride made the annoying. Uh, especially that curve of uh, little sister to Pride mate. Yeah. Oh, oh come on! Why would they run that? That card's so bad. I mean, I guess it's good against us, so. Okay. Played one uh, and delete. Or no, oh no, no, he won't get an elf. The clan call. He's complete the stampede. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Okay. We're gonna have to discard one. <laughs> it's probably just Beast Whisper. We already have one. We're never really gonna have two. Yeah. The druid's nice. The double arch druid. Yeah. But they did slow us down a lot by exiling. Okay. I know. Oh, they have uh -huh. that again. I guess we just block. Our goose isn't doing much. Fuck the 6-6. Six -six. I don't want to just die out of nowhere to the all -sing. Okay, so it's just Archdruid here. Yeah, for sure. Why did they have to exile our Archdruid? Yeah, we could that have been probably doing a lot won't better. Be uh-oh. 
Okay, so we can... We can block the 1-1. One, one. But... We're yeah. still taking 8, so this is looking really bad. Because next turn they have the ability to all save. Okay, let's let's think a minute for what we can do. We'll play a land. Yeah. Play an archery. It's kind of free. I don't think we can play archery. What do we have in our deck that could be something we're tutoring for? I we have everything. Here, I'll check. Um. If we have anything, oh, it doesn't really look like we have anything. So let's just play out stuff because it's fun. Yes. <laughs> Maybe they forget to kill us. Uh, no, 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 it's probably the arch truth. Yeah. Uh, let's let's hope they forget to kill us. I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. But I think we're dead. Thinking so hard. They didn't see it. Got another turn, that means we win. Yes, I think that means we win because we get to finale for. We're on one crater hook? Yeah, we're only running no. one. Oh. Oh. Right, let's see how much, how much mana can we have. 10, 16, 17. I think we can have 17 mana. What's finale? Oh. What could we get? We only have. Does Crater Hoof, does Crater Hoof just win us the game? It might. It probably does. Couldn't you finale for another elf to get more mana too? Oh yeah, I think what we can do is uh, finale. We gotta not do anything yet, but let's count. If we finale for two, oh, we'll get a clan caller. Well, we want a finale for twelve mana, so we get the bonus. Oh yeah. If. See, if we finale for 12 mana, we could get Dwayne's Elite. And then we'd have to tap Archdruid plus... That could give us 5 plus... plus uh, we need 12. I guess we'd have to tap both Archdruids. Which then I don't think it'd work. Or maybe... Wait, wait, wait. Let's can we try. do it for, for, um, 11 mana? Yeah, we can do it for 11 mana, and then we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, that has no. to be 10. We gotta do something now, our clock's about to run out. Oh no. Do it for 10. Quick, quick. quick. Oh, whoops, it tap both the arch droids. Oh well. Arch library. Will we get Elvish Visionary? Yeah. Oh no, it's gonna skip! Oh! oh attack. Let's attack. Okay, there was too much math. <laughs> uh, we got him to seven. Now they kill us. So or play the Beast Whisperer. Maybe they'll. Um, they, I don't think there's any way they mess up again. They, all they have to do is just attack, and even with the flyer, and then we lose. Yeah. But... And now they see it, which they could have done earlier, and we would have died a turn earlier. 
least mana short from winning that game. It was crazy. I know. I wonder if just Hoof alone would have won it. I don't think it would have. I didn't do all that math. Yeah. Maybe it would have actually. Actually, it might have. It might have. There, there, there was a lot of math to be done there. And we were running. Around we had so little time too. <laughs> Play In a real paper match. match, you would have had a lot more time. <laughs> yeah, you don't have that rope just like turned down. Good news is you can re watch the video and do some more math. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this time's no, great. This math. is a situation where Marwin's actually really good. You can go yeah, Lamar, turn to Marwin. Marwin. Dwyman's Elite, Clan Caller. We just want to lead the Stampede or some way to get more cards. Or even a, um, maybe Finale or Crater Hoof would be great too. Yeah. Maybe Finale so we can Finale for the Crater Hoof. Okay, so Dwayne's Elite. Clan Caller. Yeah, it doesn't really matter the order. And then we can attack with Marwin. I like that. Beast Whisper. Yeah, then we'd have to top Marwin, but I think that's okay. Uh, and then we can play the Goose and draw another card. Ta! The other Goose. next turn if they don't have anything. Even if they have something, they're probably dead. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, that does not do it. This is an odd game. <laughs> what is this okay. deck? Let's draw something and try to do as much damage as we can. Play that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. We have time for uh, maybe one more game of each if you want. Yeah. Um, I think this is good though. Yeah? Yeah. You think, think we're in good shape? You, you, you want to do one more maybe with the beatdown and get a win with that one? Yay! Okay, let's do that. Hopefully we get a win. I think you got a bit unlucky on... Uh... Life game. Yeah. Stuff. Having the pride made. No one drop. This pants really awkward. I wouldn't keep because we're not even. Yeah. We don't even have a two drop really. I, I don't Although, think we're playing our joints elite. Well, they are going second. Mm -mm. But I it's still true. think it's kind of. Yeah, I don't think we keep. Yeah. No. I'm a little hungry. Snack time. Well, yeah, I never had lunch. Okay, we mulligan? Mm-hmm. Uh, mull. mm -hmm. Okay, this is better. We can probably just bottom a forest. Ha, my applesauce is, in, is ghosting. <laughs> On the screen. Most of the food, the covers are green on for me. Just an plant world soon. It looks like it's a mono blue tempo deck. Uh huh. 
probably just generic pelt collector. Yeah. Have the counter. I might have a merfolk trickster. Throw. Collector, or the pulp collector. Uh, we've just done nothing. Even after we bought him to land, that's like four straight lands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not how you want things to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. I don't think we attack. No. If he has anything, it's just a free block. But you know, he had something. Not a land, please. An Archdruid or Leaf the Stampede would be best. It's time for this deck to cooperate, huh? Yeah. Eat the Stampede off the top. Seriously? Uh. <laughs> Seriously! Oh, lands this game. You want to start another one? Yeah. This is not going anywhere. Let's start one more. That one was... <laughs> uh, the shuffler didn't cooperate. <laughs> Shuffle better. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Cooperate. Deck, you must cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you commanding it to uh, behave? Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's have a turn two steel leaf. You said, okay. <laughs> what do you know? Well, it clearly listens to both of you then. I think this is the game. We're gonna win. Oh, come on! Oh, but our turn to steal I think we play the visionary. Yeah. Oh, this is um blue red spells. Yeah, so this is turn three steel leaf. Steel leaf is really good against young power man, so they just can't block it out attack. Yeah. Hey. Oh my god! Oh, wow. I think we can beat this. We can't steal block our steel leaf. I think we're just running out all our creatures. Yeah. Elf, elf, Dwayne's elite. Elf. Alfie Del. Elite. Got a token attack. Oh. Do we attack with the visionary as well? Or? No, it's not worth it. They're just going to trade with the elemental. And now we've got to leave the stampede too to refill. Mm hmm. Surprising that they didn't just attack first. And let their creature die and then get another card, right? Yeah. Kind of like trading a 1-1 one, one for two cards because they had two. Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Wow. So let's just lead the stampede first because we might hit something better. Uh, <laughs> triple Lord, okay. I 
I think it's just Imperius perfect. Yeah. We could just go Lord Lanor else. But they're fine. And then hit him for six. Yeah. Gotta make sure we don't die out of nowhere. Hopefully we don't. Because oh. we are at 20. Mm hmm. Oh. That's fine, that doesn't really do anything. It's just a flyer that can attack. I guess if they can get that big enough to block or steal leave. Oh, that, that would be kind of bad. Oh. Okay. Get to cast a shock. Our lord. But we've got a lot of lords. Oh. Imperius Perfect? Play, yeah. Imperious or maybe perfect. Pelt Collector Imperius Perfect. I like that. Pelt Collector, uh, Pelt Collector Imperius Perfect and the Lord. Then force them to just chump with their Sprite Dragon. Yeah. Okay. As long as we don't die here, I think it's fine. I don't see how we can die. Yeah. It's not like they have a castle. A castle would be bad. And I know when I was playing blue red spells, I was playing this list today. Oh. I ran one castle, but hey, we got our win. We did it. Oh. All right. What? That's a wrap, and I like both decks. I like the beat down better though. <laughs> <laughs> I like the combo deck more. Right, we, well, you know what, Dana? You can play a bunch of games with each, maybe on stream as well. Yeah. And get like more games under your belt and see kind of how it, each of them perform and how they feel. Yeah. But with that, thank you everybody for watching. You can find me on you here on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at Dana Fisher and TG. And me and my dad also will be streaming on our family Twitch channel, Fisher Magic, um, every Saturdays and Mondays at 3.30 p.m. And Luca can be found on his Twitter. Um, we'll put that in the yeah. description yeah, in the of the description video. So, and thank you, Luca, right? That was awesome. Yeah, thank you, Luca. Yeah, we got, we've got advice from a, uh, from a true expert there. So thank you, Luca. Yeah problem all right mm -hmm. sounds good thanks right, everyone thank you everyone bye, bye.